you to my workspace. So come on in. Okay, so up the stairs we go. Uh, these stairs were originally beautiful blue carpet when I first moved in, so I ripped it up and um, have painted it black with glitter. You can never have too many sparkles. Okay, so this is the first floor and the entrance to my two businesses. Straight ahead is the supply store and to the left is Trinity Beauty Boutique, my studio. So we've got a waiting area here. Chairs are from Harvey Norman and beautiful fake flowers, believe it or not. Uh, fun fact number one about me, I'm allergic to flowers. So these flowers come from Floral Image and I have them changed every month. And then I've got my reception area, some testers of hand creams and scrubs and some of the products that I sell, and some more hand cream for clients to pop on after their service. Covered for gift vouchers, paperwork, FPOS machine, my computer system. The booking system that I use is Vergaro. I'll pop a link to that below. I found it really, really good. It has an app for clients, online booking, um, and it's very user friendly. Okay, and then round here, this is my retail area. Now, I am hopeless at selling. I can't sell anything unless I genuinely use and love it myself. So these are all my favorite products, Cuccio hand creams and body washes, organic spa facial products, and the lovely lip scents. Okay, and then over here, this was my amazing wall that's looking a bit neglected because I just don't use the, these products anymore. I um, don't use dry glitters. I don't really, don't use any acrylics. Lots of colored acrylics, some bling, lots of bits and pieces that unfortunately doesn't get used, but I can't bring myself to get rid of it just yet. Okay, and then over here, this is where I take my photos. This is my little photo studio. Um, I've got three different types of lighting, which I found to be really, really important. Um, the first light, the one here, is uh, my shadow box. It just puts um, a really soft glow, a really soft, subtle light. The second light, uh, just here, this is my ring light. Um, it's fabulous for lighting when I do my tutorials and things. It does um, cast, I'll turn it all on. It does cast a really bright light though, and you can actually see the reflection in photos. I don't really like that look when you see the reflection of the ring in nails. So I've used this shadow box just to diffuse. So I still get the light through, um, but I'm not getting that, that um, reflection. And then the third light I have is my desk light from Ikea. These are under $20 and it just has a daylight globe, just a normal daylight globe in it. Um, so I direct that onto the nails as I'm taking the photo. So my client would stand on this side, um, pose how I need them to, and I stand on the other side behind the light um, taking the photo. So that works really, really well. I get some really nice light um, and I find I don't have to edit my photos at all. I used to edit my photos to get um, a true to life color. So sometimes when I take a photo of the nails, um, what I'd see in the camera wouldn't be how the actual photo is, uh, how the actual nails looked. So I'd have to adjust my um, color and my highlights and my shadows to get that true image. Whereas with this setup, I pretty much take one photo, crop it and put my watermark on it and it's perfect. So I'm really happy with all that lighting. Um, underneath I've got different backgrounds and props and things like that all stored away nice and tidy and I like that it because it's halfway between the nail area and the reception desk clients have to walk past there anyway so it's no drama just for them to stop for a quick photo on the way past okay then over here I've got a little another little waiting area nice comfy lounge a uh, little hair station there where I can do my hair and makeup of a morning and this is the nail area. This is my little studio. So the table is a, an Australian manufacturer of extraction tables called M&D. The link's below. Um, so it's got a fan in here that sucks up all the dust as I'm working. And um, it sucks it from a really big area, as you can see. It's not a small vent, so it really 
removes lots and lots of dust and they go down into the big filters which are under the table on either side and they get emptied every month and washed and replaced. Okay, then I've got my two light elegance lamps. I think it's really important for speed to have two lamps um, so you're not waiting on one of the lights and you're not having to worry about clients having to cross their arms over and such. Then I've got my e-file. Uh, I've got my drill bits in here in sanitizing solution, hand cream, the awesome whoops, Perfect Nails waterless hand sanitizer. So if I sneeze or cough or touch my face, I can wipe my hands. Same with clients, if they're sneezing, they can clean their hands so I'm not passing on germs. Okay, and then over here, I've got swatches on little stands. So this one here is all the Perfect Nails colors. And this one is light elegance colors and glitters. So I can just um, pop them on the table when clients aren't sure what color they want. I don't like things out on tables much. I don't have much clutter sitting around. So the only things that I do keep on my table are my necessities. So I have my wipes out. I have my core brushes, my three brushes that I use all the time, a pair of scissors for form fitting. I've got acetone, gel cleanser, dehydrator. Then down in here, I have my tack, I have my Vita Prime, super shiny, uh, flat mat, whoop, flat mat, my perfect nails brush on resin. This is absolutely amazing for adhering um, crystals, Swarovski, they won't budge, it's fantastic. This is a little secret squirrel bottle that I'm testing for LEHQ, and of course, copious amounts of cuticle oil. Okay, then I've got my little drawers. I've had these drawers forever, as you can as you can see. Everything gets sticky when you use gels. Uh, I've just got bits and pieces, my glasses, and some important things in the top there. And I've got my core gel products, close close at hand. Um, my favourites are usually the ones that are at the front, and that changes time to time. So at the moment, um, my definite favourite is Ideal Pink Builder. So this got released last Monday um, and I've probably had it for an extra week before that. So in about two weeks, look how much I've used. That's a 50 ml jar. That's the really big jar. So absolutely love that. It's my favorite. Um, and then I use heaps of the fiber gels as well, the natural pink fiber and the natural fiber um, and a lot of extreme when I do my reverse work. Any further down, I have all of my files in here. Uh, my favourites, which you see in most of my tutorial videos, are these ones. So I use one per client, so I need to top up my shelf, but usually I have a big batch of them sitting in there. And then underneath, gloves. Um, that one's empty. And the bottom one is my stash. Again, I can't give it up. My stash of acrylics that I don't use anymore, but I'm just going to sit them there in case. Uh, and then over here, this is my IKEA drawers. This is the Alex system. Uh, so here I have my coloured and hard gels, all in alphabetical order. You can see here how cool the new labelling is going to be when my whole drawer is full of these type of labels. It's going to look amazing. Um, and then I've got a bits and pieces drawer, some artwork, pigments. Uh, striping tape, brushes, bits and pieces, and again, more acrylics, more glitters that I'm never going to use, but I can't throw them out. <laughs> okay, over here uh, I have a telly that I have all of my work playing on, all of my nail photos, so the clients can get some ideas. Uh, I've got my hot towel warmer just here. I give every client a hot towel um, when we finish their service. Um, here is my, this is my latest addition. So this again is Alex Draws from Ikea. So we've got brushes. Then I've got the buttercreams, gel paints, poppy paints. I've got pigments, Light Elegance pigments and sugars. Bling, loads of bling. Um, stamping. And that's about it for now. I'm still trying to um, sort out the rest. Okay, and then over here, I've got my gel polishes. I've got them all in number order, and that um, refers to the swatches. So over here, just say somebody wants number 62 here, Orange Obsession. 
I just go straight over here and find number 62, Orange Obsession. So that works well for me. So all of those drawers are gel polishes. And then I hope everybody has one of these. I definitely do my junk drawer. Hardly even open it. It's full of bits and pieces and things that I need to get rid of and sort out. So that's my next job after I get some more tutorials done. And then up here, my diffuser that I usually have going all the time with my essential oils from Beauty World. It's such a nice feeling for clients to walk in and say how amazing the salon smells instead of, oh, I can smell that acrylic downstairs. So I really, really like that. All right, so now walking into my little sunroom. Um, this room is five meters long by two meters wide to give you an idea of the size. Uh, the windows are beautiful um, you know, on a winter's day. It's so nice and warm in here. I've got blinds up there for when um, it gets too hot and close it off and make it all nice and dark. So this end is for gel toes. Um, I used to do pedicures in here as well, but I don't do pedis anymore. I don't enjoy them. And I think it's really important um, to be good at something. I think you really have to enjoy it and have a passion for it. So um, if I don't enjoy something, I don't like doing it. So I've ditched pedicures off my service menu, but I do like gel toes. They're nice, quick and easy and sparkly. Uh, so I still have a lot of pedicure products there that I don't use. Uh, so I sit on the stool and my client sits up on the bed uh, with their knees bent uh, for me to do their gel polished toes. And then down this other end is where I do lash extensions. It's a super comfy bed, it's heated. So in the winter, um, my clients usually fall asleep. And then I also do brow waxing here. Keep all my supplies in the cupboard. I do sugaring as well. Um, for waxing, I use brow code and I use e-color for my tinting. Um, these are disposable towels. They're amazing. So I use them in here and you can see on the bottom of the bottom of the bed there. Um, they're awesome. I just throw them out after each client. I sell those in my store. Um, so good. It saves so much washing. <laughs> All right. So that's the salon area, the public area. And then if we walk back through to the entrance, this is the little secret door that only trade professionals get to go through. So, um, behind this door, I hold my workshops. I've got my supply area. One of the awesome brands that I supply is Coastal. Um, this is a beautiful Australian brand, uh, vegan, non-toxic gel polishes and also water-based nail lacquer. All right, so let's open the door. All right, welcome to Pro Salon Solutions. Okay, supplies and training room. So I've got a couple of nail stations here. Set up ready to go for training and they're set up with everything that I genuinely use myself in the salon. All of the products I use. Over here is my little admin area. That picture above my desk, that's a set of nails I did back in oh, about 2011, 2012 maybe. So this is a couple of orders here that are getting processed. They're about to go out today. Um, in these cupboards, I have my bubble wrap, my packaging. I try and wrap everybody's sort of basic gift wrapping on everybody's order, just so it's like getting a little present to yourself. Some of the brands I stock are Black Magic, the Australian tanning brand. This is my manicure section with uh, Cuccio products, cuticle oil, hand creams, body washes, petty products. And then over here, we've got Perfect Nails, Preps and Solvents. The waterless hand sanitizer, acetone, uh, stock some beauty products, some um, disposables, forms, loads and loads of files, all different types. If there's nothing here that you like, I can usually get them in for you. Accessories like dappen dishes, nail wipes. Let me get on to the light elegance. So all of the collections, the buttercream collections, the color and glitter collections. Always have the newest ones in stock. Uh, preps, primers, power bond, super shiny, all of the core products. Try and keep keep them in stock in both sizes. Then we've got the Aussie brand Perfect Nails acrylic line. 
I stock the competition formula, monomer, powders, primers, got brushes. Over here is the gel, gel polish section. So the coastal range that I was talking about. See the beautiful colours that they come in. And also the Perfect Nails Speed Polish. This polish is amazing. You don't need a top coat or a base coat. You just need two coats of colour and each coat sets for 30 seconds under the LED light. So this can really help speed up your services. And then here is my tanning area. Just got a curtain there that can be pulled across when needed. So this is the Black Magic Extraction Tower, Black Magic um, machine, spray tan machine, and I use all of the Black Magic solutions as well. I've got LED lighting so that I can see what I'm doing and where I'm tanning. Got a mirror there. So that's the little tanning section. And then I've got my little kitchenette area, tea and coffee when I'm doing my classes. Hot water, I've got a microwave to heat up lunches and a fridge. And then off to this side is my little staff room, dash storeroom, junk room. So I've got a washing machine, which is awesome. I can do all my washing and I don't have to take it home. That's fantastic. And then this is my storage. I don't like to throw anything out, but I know what's in there and I know where it is. <laughs> And again, this is the behind the scenes that no one really sees. I've got my dryer. That's where I keep all my towels. It's a couple of things that I need to take home with me. And then I keep boxes and things like that for my orders so that I can recycle and repack things into them and send them out. Okay, and then we've got a bathroom through there. And I have a back door that goes out to the car park out the back. Um, just around the corner to the left, there's a council car park, so a lot of my clients like to park there and sneak in the back way. There's a doorbell for clients to ring. And I've tried to pretty it up with some flowers out here, make it nice. Okay, so that's my salon, that's my tour. Hope you've enjoyed it. If anyone's ever in Lithgow, I'd love for you to stop by and say hi. Um, if you need to order supplies or pick up supplies, it's awesome if you're able to order them online first and choose click and collect so that I can make sure I've got everything in stock. Um, and if you are passing through, if you just drop me a message to um, let me know you're coming just so I can set aside some time um, that I'm not with clients so that I can um, help you out as much as I can. Great. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and I'll talk to you all soon. Bye.